What's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Today we have a brand new career mode challenge on FIFA 19. As you can see on the screen here, we have Chelsea loaded up, ready to go and start a new career mode. Now you might be wondering, ooh, what's this career mode going to be? It is going to be a Gonzalo Higuain based challenge. Now, as you may have seen recently, Higuain has in fact joined Chelsea on a loan deal uh, for the rest of the season so what I'm going to be doing in today's experiment or challenge is to see if Higuain can make an impact and secure a top four finish for Chelsea or potentially win some silverware along the way uh, I'm not sure how many seasons I'm going to do um, but if you do go on to enjoy the video please give a like comment your thoughts on the video and any other video ideas you have for these challenges and also subscribe if you are new around here I really am appreciative of the support so far on the channel uh, 600 subscribers now insane amount of views and it's just it's just all good all good in the hood so what I'm gonna be doing jumping into the squad once I load up the squad show you the team that I'm gonna be rocking with and then I'm gonna to go to January stop halfway in the season see how we're doing see how Higuain's doing if he's made an impact or not then I'll go to the end of the season and we'll watch the last game together if we are unsuccessful in the first season then I will go on to the second season if we are if we can secure a top four spot I'll then move on into the second season to try and win the Champions League Premier League etc 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 so Hope you guys enjoy the video, and I will see you guys in the squad hub. Right, guys, as you can see here, this is the squad we are going with. This is my personal squad, what I would like to see in real life. Uh, Kepper and goal, Azpilicueta right back, Rudiger and Davo Luiz at centre-back, Emerson at left-back. Uh, in that holding role, Jorginho, Kovacic at left centre-mid, right centre-mid, Kante, Hudson and on the right, Higuain up front, and Hazard on the left. Um, as you can see... That is the squad, I'm going to save that, and we're going to move on into the calendar year um, quickly. So, what I want to do is show you what I will be doing. I will be going all the way to uh, the 1st of January, which is a game against Southampton. Uh, once that is done, I will show you uh, the scorers, the stats, the league table, the cup um, runs, see where we are uh, at the halfway point of the season, or near enough the halfway point. And then once I do that, I'll go to the end of the game. Uh, end of the season, sorry, which will be against Leicester, and then we'll see what has happened throughout the whole season. So, let's get into the first half of the season. Right, guys, as you can see, we are here at the 1st of January. Things are looking good. We're third in the league. A surprise leader of the Premier League in the midpoint is Everton. Uh, another uh, strange face in the top six is Brighton, who are fourth in the table. As we go ahead and look at the stats, we've had 20 games, 11 wins, 3 draws and 6 losses. If we go and have a look at the Community Shield, Man City beat us 2-0, which is unfortunate for us. FA Cup, are we still in the running for the FA Cup? We're against Liverpool in the third round, which is, you know, it's rather annoying. You know, third round, you don't really want to be coming up against Liverpool. Um, if we go change to the Carabao Cup, I'm not sure if we're still in the Carabao Cup. We're not. What round did we get knocked out in? We did get... Oh, no, that's the wrong competition. My bad. If we go ahead uh, and check, we got knocked out in... Wait, what round did we get knocked out in? Okay, this is worrying. Bournemouth beat us in the second round on penalties, which is not good for us. If we go ahead, ahead and look at the Europa League, um, that is also another competition which we are in. Um, hopefully we made it through. We did. Round 32, we're against Moscow, away from home in the first leg. Juventus dropped down into the uh, Europa League, as did Spurs. Um, some good games there. Dortmund dropping down uh, as well. Leicester a surprise uh, in there as well. Liverpool dropping down as well. Um, so now what we move on into is the player stats. Higuain is still there. Unfortunately, as you can see, Azpilicueta is actually injured. So I think I should replace him with Zappa Costa. Put him down there. Everyone else seems fine. Let's go have a look at the rating and stats of Higuain. Hopefully he's had a fair few games to play. Um... If we go over to the stats in terms of goals, who's our top goal scorer? Giroud's on 10, so he's been making a lot of uh, sub-appearances. Higuain has still played a fair few games, and he's only scored four goals for us. Um, so he's played 15 games in the Prem, four in the Europa League, uh, 
getting one goal in the Europa League, three in the Premier League. Higuain's not doing too great for us, is he? Um, but we are maintaining our top four spot. So what I'm going to do now is head over to the end of the season, as you can see, against Leicester. I will pause if we get to any cup finals before this game, but I'm pretty sure any final is after this um, fixture. So I will be right back. Right guys, as you can see, we're at the final game of the season. Hopefully nothing has changed. And oh no, that is not good. That is not good. We're 56 rating as a manager. And unfortunately, we've slipped out of the top four. Now, as you can see, 37 games, 19 wins, 8 draws and 10 losses. As you can see, Everton have actually gone and won the Premier League, which is insane. Um, actually, no, no, if City, yeah, if, C if Everton slip up and City win, hmm, interesting, and Tottenham are actually playing Everton, which is helpful to us, but we have one game to try and clinch top four, as you can see, the squad is not looking great in terms of fitness, uh, so we're going to have to actually bring in Ampadu for Rudiger, who's got a red card, uh, and... I'm going to have to leave the squad as it is for now. Um, let's go look at the stats of Higuain right now. Uh, see if he's made an improvement from what he was on. Uh, goals. Okay, there you go. That's much better. It's not great, but it's much better than what he had. Uh, 39 games now. Uh, 13 goals, 1 assist. Hazard up there with 47 games played. Um, but the main man, Higuain, not great getting many goals. But, as you can see... Going into the last game, we need a win against Leicester here. Hopefully it can happen. I'm going to sim the game. If it doesn't happen, we go again next season. We also need Everton. Oh, Spurs have gone 1-0 up in the first five minutes. Not a good sign for us. Madison gets injured in the 17th minute. Albrighton scores. Oh, no. But hudson Adoy, the young hero, gets one back. It is 1-0. Can we get a, a goal to put us ahead? As it stays 1-1. Hazard scores. It's 2-1. Giroud's come on. Vardy scored. No. Can we get an equaliser? No. And Spurs drew 2 all as well. Which doesn't help us either. And I think that means we miss out on the top 4. Which is not good at all. And yeah. As you can see. We, level on po we are level on points with Spurs. Oh no. That is not good. That is not good. Unfortunately, we miss out on the top four, but we will go again next season. As you can see, uh, let's go look at all the cups. Uh, where do we fall out of in the FA Cup? Probably in the round against Liverpool. Um, the final is Stoke versus United. That's not a great uh, semi-final there. Um, if we go back to, what was it, round two or round three? Liverpool won 5-4 on pens. Again, getting knocked out 5-4 on pens to a Prem team in the early stages of the Cup. Not great. Um, if we go down to the Europa League, I don't know where we ended up um, in this. It does not look promising. So we're in the round of 32. Uh, wow. Most, Moscow won on away goals. That is not good at all. Really, really poor from Chelsea there. We're going to move on into the, the next season, guys. And hopefully we can bounce back and actually get top four this time. And I will be right back. Right, guys. As you can see here, we are at the end of the second season. I am not sure what to expect on the other side of this calendar. Hopefully. Okay, we're third. We have secured a top four finish, which is perfect. Just what we wanted for the season. Let's go look at the stats Obviously, I haven't actually been looking at the stats so far. Top goal scorer is Hazard. Higuain, 40 games, 19 goals this season. Not too bad. Michael Van Ginkel. Marco Van Ginkel with 12 goals. Hmm, questionable. Anyway, Hazard again. Most goals, most uh, games played. Or well, same as William, actually. But Higuain, much uh, better performance this season than uh, we did see last season. As you can see, Bakayoko is actually back at Chelsea as well, which is quite funny. Um, put Ampadu in there. Rudiger can come back in, actually. Um, Hazard, Higuain, Hudson-Odoi. 
there as well. Zappa Costa is there. Emerson still. Kepa's an 87 rated now. Wow. Um, obviously, as you can see there, Pulisic is actually uh, in the squad now, which is very, very nice to see. I'm not too sure if that's done in the game or Chelsea have actually bought Pulisic anyway. But nevertheless, we'll go sim into the last game of this challenge for this season. Sip it and zap across the scores and we do clinch a win on the final day of the season against Bournemouth. Now, we move on as we finish third in the league. That is the challenge done. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. Um, I did actually enjoy making this uh, video. It's very, very enjoyable. If you want to see more challenge videos, let me know in the comment section below. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.